We actually met at the dispensary, okay? There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, everybody? So I figured, like, today is going to be the perfect day to do, like, you know, a sit-down chit-chat. But also, I did have, like, some stuff that I needed to try on. So I figured I would share that with you guys as well as drink this coffee with you guys also. So let me tell y'all, because I'm going to do my makeup because I also do have another video to do, which is a hair video. So I figured we're going to just do this together. This is not even a tutorial. This is basically, like, a chit-chat slash review. Not really like a review review, but a try on slash review, which would be more or less like me giving my opinions because I do like to do that a lot. So I figured what better people to do it with would be y'all. So here I am in my bathroom area. It's, it's a Sunday. Um, I really honestly needed to do these videos yesterday, but you know, I was tired. My eyes was burning and I really, really didn't feel like it. But anyway, girl, let me tell y'all. Okay. First of all, I haven't purchased makeup in a minute. Like I don't really go to Ulta. I don't really go to Sephora like that. And I'm not like the best at doing makeup. I'm not a makeup artist. I just do it because I feel like it's, it's just something to do. It's something that we as women like, right? Then I start feeling like everything just start looking the same. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it don't matter if it is, and I say that a lot, know what I'm saying, right? But it doesn't matter if it is, girl, I almost forgot something. Um, it doesn't matter if it is different brands, a different name, colors, even if the colors are named something different, they still start looking the same after a while, you know? Especially when it comes to like eyeshadow powder. But, um, I haven't purchased makeup in a minute and I don't really count purchasing anything from the Dollar Tree as like a makeup haul, but this is from the Dollar Tree, this Ardell Camouflage, Camouflage Concealer. And girl, let me tell y'all, it is the best thing since sliced bread. But anyway, so I purchased some makeup just recently. I had, um, went to the cosmetic company outlet. Um, they be having like a whole bunch of stuff. Sometimes they have like a really good area that has like 75% off, but more or less, the cosmetic company is like last season's, you know, cosmetics. But still, it's it's all good. You, you get it for half the price off. Sometimes it'll be 75% off, all right? Sometimes it'll be more than that. Also, they have like these really good sales. So I don't really care if it's like last season's makeup. Oh, excuse the gel, honey. Excuse the gel in my hair. Ooh, child. This is nothing but gel. Like I was saying, they more or less have last season's um, makeup. And it might not be like a whole year later, but it'll be like a, a like a last season's. And I do like to go there because, you know, it's a it's a, it's a affordable price. Now, anyway, so I do go there. I haven't been to Ulta in like forever. So I did go there just recently. And girl, let me tell y'all, I was so overwhelmed. I was ready to leave. Like I was getting stuff that I really didn't even need to get. But I'm gonna share that with y'all too. So anyway, um... I did purchase some makeup, which I'm going to show you guys because I'm going to just do this video. I like to purchase things from like the same store. Like my sports bras and my panties and bras, I do like to go to this um, one particular store, which is Aerie. And you remember, my daughter Nay used to work there. So I would get her discount. Plus, I would also always shop on the clearance side. Anyway, I get like a $60 bra for like $10, $7. So I really do like their bras, but I really do like, like their leggings, their sports bras. But I also do like this other website that I was, you know, rocking. Why do they have right next door to the cosmetic company, they got this store called Legging Park. Legging Park, where all leggings and sports bras and so forth is $9.99. So I go in there and I'm really happy, I'm excited. You know, they have all of these different combos, varieties, a prints, and you know, everything is $9.99. So of course I buy like three items. Okay, I buy three items. That's all I purchased was three items. And um, it's one of those stores where you can't get your money back if you decide that it don't fit. You have to get an exchange. So already when I seen that receipt, I was kind of like, mm, this is not going to be a good start. Girl, please tell me why my feet couldn't even get through the damn ankles of the leggings. I really wasn't into all of those different prints. When you started looking at them after a while, I was like, okay, honey, I'm too old for all of this stuff. It's starting to look real cheap. On top of that, the fabric was just a no for me. It started reminding me of 
leggings that's going to make your cooter sweat. I don't like to do the cooter sweaters, okay? The cooter sweaters is that just not for me. I did exchange it for, like, these sports bras, but they're really not going to be sports bras for me because I don't really find them to be too supportive. So I don't think they're sporting nothing around but good faith, okay? So they more or less would be like, you know, one of those kind of sports bras where I'm going to just look cute and rock this under a blouse so that way you can see it peeking through. But if I need to wear a sports bra, honey, this is not the pick. Yeah, it's one of those, okay? I did say that I was not going to purchase anything from Shein again. And I meant it, but I did buy something else. And I'm gonna have to show y'all that in another video. I do have some other leggings and sports bras. I gotta do a try on haul too, so I figured I would chit chat and we could see how these come out. I'm hoping and praying in my hopes of dreams, praise and all that, that these items that I'm about to try on in this haul review slash right now, look like they fit and they, they, they come out decent. Because I have good faith in this company. And from what I've seen so far, I feel like they will work out for me. They have a huge variety of sports bras, leggings, cami tops, and so forth. If you like to work out or if you don't want to work out, but you like to wear those type of clothing, girl, you have to definitely try your best. When it comes to like working out, that's one thing that I really don't like to do. Like, I don't like to go to the gym. I feel like it's a forced task on my part and I'm not really happy when I'm there, but I feel like if I'm gonna be there, I do wanna look cute and nice and well put together, but I do want my clothing to be like affordable, not cheaply made. For the sports bra part, I do like them to be like really good quality sports bras. So that's why I was telling you guys, I only really was getting my sports bras from Aerie, but, and this other online store that I can't really mention in this video because this one right here is being sponsored. Um, okay. Now, mind you, I'm not really sure where the clothing that, garments you know are made. But let me tell y'all, I did go to the cosmetic store. They had like this really cool sale. It was six for 60, six items for $60. So you could have easily spent like 25 for this and maybe something else. So it was a, it was a deal, but I did get this Born This Way warm, warm Sand Foundation, 24 hour. And I did get like a couple of other palettes and stuff that I'm gonna show you guys too. But I, I finally did purchase some Fenty, but hopefully this is my color, Warm Sand. We're gonna see how this work out for today, if it's my color because it just better be. But other than that, you guys, I have just really been chilling, just trying to live my life and be healthy. You know what I mean? But that's what you want to call it. So I have yet to try on the um, garments from Yvette. And I'm hoping, like I was saying, as I was looking at them when they came, they did look sus, okay? When I looked at one of the... Um, the biker shorts that I got, it kind of looks sus, like, you know, suspect to not fit in. Okay, great, here we go. Hopefully this fits, not to change the subject, but I have branched out onto different TV shows and I am so proud of myself for that because normally all I really want to watch is stuff that has something to do with some type of violence and not saying that I'm a violent person. I do like to watch a lot of documentaries. I do really, really like to watch those type of shows that have documented murders or, you know, just, it's just real life. That's too many. What it is. Like, I am kind of interested in um, Housewives of Atlanta. I have gone years without watching it, and that's okay. Um, it's not like one of my favorite shows, but I will watch it. I'm not watching all of them. I'm not watching all the other series, all the other Housewives of anything. I'm not watching all of those. I'm not watching the Love and Hip Hop. This, this actually did come out to be my color, Warm Sand. I mean, what y'all think? Like, I mean, it probably do appear like an orange color, beige color on camera, but girl, I don't want to look like Jim Carrey in Mask. This is the, always the problem with foundation. You always gotta like mix it. It never is like dead smack on perfect. I really did want to try like some Fenty foundation, but girl, this was like a part of a six for 60. So I got this for $10 Fenty concealer. And I so far like it. Yeah, so I branched out into new shows and so now I am, I don't know how I even got here. I think I got there because there was nothing else to watch. Waiting for The Walking Dead is like taking forever. I decided to watch, believe it or not, I am now watching 90 Day Fiance. This is a first for me. Seriously, a first for me with 90 Day Fiance. I don't really watch shows like that because I think it's ridiculous, but it's very interesting. So I kind of like watched it backwards. First, I, I, I did watch The Family Chantel and that was like a year ago. So of course, I really didn't know who they was. So I've been watching that, been watching 90 Day Fiance. I am now, I went and watched it from season one. You know, who will be having everything? Amazon Prime be having everything. The show is crazy. Like seriously, in a nutshell, who the hell, some of these people be so desperate for love. And I understand everybody wants to find love. There's nothing wrong with that shit. But when you about to spend and spend all your life savings, 
messing with somebody in a whole different country. I don't care where you're at. And then you spend all your money just getting them here, going back and forth. They better do you right. Like, on some real... Girl, couldn't be me. So I've been liking that. I've been watching that. And I guess after I'm done watching it, it will definitely be the time for me to watch the spinoffs. Anybody in the comments, let me know. Do you watch the 90 Day Fiance? I have yet to watch um, uh, The Bachelorette. I have never watched none of those. The Bachelor or The Bachelorette, whatever it's called. I've never watched any of those. And that other one, what he has all those wives. He's got four different wives, and I'm sorry to say, but every last one of them is not attractive. That's just my opinion. But who am I to judge? But I'm just saying. You see what I'm saying about this Fenty? It, look, it looks really good. I do like the coverage of it. Plus, I like the after effect, all right? The after effect of it. So I'm trying to use, like, not all Too Faced, but kind of somewhat. So I was just putting some of this in my eyelids, which is is my Too Faced pressed powder. Girl, why does this look so light? Like, this color is called medium tan. Honey, this looks like medium pale. Soleil. I think that's what's called. Deep tan bronzer from Too Faced. I'm gonna use that in my crease. This is just me warming back my eyelids. Normally, I, if I don't use, you know what, I wonder if this is the same, you know something? Because normally in my crease, I'll use this Too Faced palette and this color right here. This is the deep contour, but that I always use. So I've been watching the 90 Day Fiance and the show is crazy. When I say it's crazy, like I'm amazed at how people can be so naive at times. In season two, uh, I can't remember, is her name Denise? I can't remember her name, but white woman, red hair, got three daughters. She got the guy named Mohammed. Okay, she's messing with him. She is so naive. Y'all look, I don't know. I just be invested. I'm, I am now invested in this damn TV show. It's just amazing how some people can be so naive. It could be like a huge red flag. They really don't see that shit. And like with her, she really don't see it. Have they even had sex? I don't know. The show is really, really interesting. I like the show a lot. I don't know why. Um, for the eyeshadow look. Okay, so like I was saying, it was the six for 60 girl, okay? And I got these two palettes by Too Faced, Cinnamon Swirl. And that's my jam. I love Too Faced. It's the aesthetic for me. It, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that eyeshadow palettes are to die for, but girl, it's the aesthetic. So that's my jam and Cinnamon Swirl. Cinnamon Swirl is basically like a mixture of neutral colors. You know me, I am not too, like, you know. These are pretty colors, I think. Like, these are really pretty colors. And it does smell. It smells like a cinnamon color. And that's my jam. It's a cute little small palette, like, you know, purples and stuff like that. I'm going to go for that cinnamon palette. But I did get this as one of my 6 for 60s and this as well. And I'll definitely show you guys what else as I use, as I go along. So, like I was saying, I do like the show. The show is really cool. I'm going to watch the entire series from season one to nine. Now, I did start it off kind of like backwards when I was watching it. Like, I started off with season nine first because I didn't really want to get too old. But now I'm, you know, so I'm going to watch the whole thing. Then I'm going to watch, like, the um, spinoffs. So let's see. We're going to use in this palette, See Me Rolling is, like, a really pretty brown color. Um, it's, like, a muted matte color of, like, a rustic color. And I think I'm going to put it in my... Please. So Yvette, I think like for the, for this legging company, this workout brand company, I like the name a lot, Yvette. It's definitely very plus size friendly, which um, I'm excited about. There was the one thing that I do like a lot of though about this website, Yvette, there are crazy sports bras to choose from. There's a lot to choose from and not just for like the regular sizes. I'm talking about like for the plus sizes as well. And like true, true indeed, who's to say that a plus size is not a regular size? And I hate when they do that, like regular sizes. Okay, so what? What the heck is a plus size? That's a regular size too, right? So anyway, I'm just gonna make my point about that. Um, they have like crazy varieties when it comes to the sports bras. And I've never really seen an online site that has so many to choose from, but also has a nice selection for plus size women as well. The shipping was, you know, like normal. It, 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 it was kind of surprisingly fast to me, maybe because I expected the items to come from like um, overseas, international. Did have two different deliveries and they both came from California. By all means, I would definitely encourage you guys to look at the sizing chart. Now, from the colors, I liked, I did pick like some really cool colors um, and I was able to choose six items. And from those items, I really was trying to choose stuff that I would wear to the gym. I really don't like to be too, um, 
risque or whatever. Like I don't like my um, upper body to show too much, like my stomach area, because I'm kind of insecure about that. I did choose these three pack uh, workout tank tops and I thought that was really cool because they came in a three pack. There's probably like about three or four different options to choose from. Such a nice variety of the leggings and biker shorts and sports bras that you can kind of like put a whole outfit together with just the tank tops alone if you don't like to wear like the sports bra type of shirt out in public or to the gym all the time. I just don't feel comfortable only because of my midsection. Lick the spoon, baby, lick the spoon. I'm gonna use that lick the spoon color, okay? Right here in the corner. Oh, that's a pretty color. So this is like totally a different type of video for me. Like I'm gonna do a try on haul and I'm trying to mesh it all together. So, you know, girl, I need to try to learn how to do better makeup skills, okay? But this color is really pretty. I don't know, it's not, mm, it kind of reminds me of like, it wants to be like a coral color and it kind of wants to be like a pinkish color. I don't know if I like this eye look. Bear with me a second while I put this eyeliner on. All right guys, believe it or not, it took me like 20 minutes to do my eyeliner and these damn lashes. Like I am not the best at doing nobody's eyeliner, including my own, or lashes. Because my eyes are hooded, sometimes lashes can be like, like the worst it has to be like a certain band in order for my for them to fit properly like i really do prefer like the clear bands you know what i'm saying like i really do prefer the clear bands like these are my favorite eyelashes of all time but i love them because the band is clear they look dramatic but they do look really natural and for hooded eyelids i think like you know you can't really tap too many hairs because it already kind of like kind of weighed your eyelids down so i have to kind of find like a for each eye i have to do like a certain trick and this eye always seems to give you like the most problems and when it comes to eyeliner girl please like it'd be all loopy loop i just am not a huge fan of my eye shape okay i wish i did know how to do makeup really good you know what's so crazy though for somebody who feels like myself who don't feel like they do like the best job of doing makeup i sure have enough of it but look now real quick when i switch it up on y'all real quick when i say switch it up so they came and brought me my drink for the day which is dutch bros i love dutch bros if y'all got dutch bros in your city or town girl check them out like first of all i just get the same thing like i've only had this one drink from dutch bros well no excuse me i tried another drink but this is the one that i always seem to always get which is uh blood dragon or dragon blood dragon blood some shit like that um and i only get this one because girl listen the menu is very confusing and this is the one that I remember. And so I'm not about to sit here and confuse myself. Now, I do know there was a time when I did like this other drink that I tried from it, but girl, I don't remember how they made it for me or none of that. And to not get upset and not irritate myself, I'll just keep it simple and order the same thing. You know, my favorite, favorite place to get anything to drink at is what? Dunkin' Donuts. Dragon's Blood. These are some new lashes too. That's the one thing that I don't like is when your lashes are brand new and they feel like they just don't want to cooperate with you guys. So it's all little crazy. I'm just gonna use some contour, you know, contour myself. Um, try to look cute for this little try on haul by your vet. Now remember I did say I, I haven't purchased makeup in a minute. So when I did purchase the Fenty Concealer that day, I did purchase this Juvia's Place bronzer palette. I'm not really sure why they call it a palette because there's only two damn colors in here. This is a really nice one. This is the tan one. And then my daughter Tati, she had these in her car brand new, which was the Ju Juvia's Place Foundation. She wasn't able to return them and try them on in store because of COVID. So she ended up giving these to me because she said it wasn't her color. I'll go 240 and the Maui um, 230. Definitely they're not my color, but I felt like, you know what, um, let's just see. These are cute. Like I've never um, tried any of the Juvia's Place um, Foundation, but you know, like I said, she was gonna, she gave them to me for a contour color. So I figured, okay. So they both kind of almost similar in colors. I've never used anything by Juvia's Place. And for the life of me, honestly, I really want to call them Juvia's Palace. Like they should have called themselves Juvia's Palace because palace is a better word than place. But you know, who am I to say? They my damn makeup line, right? So I'm gonna just shut up. But I am gonna use this over top of it. So yeah, like I said, I was trying to get really cute for this video of trying it stuff on for you guys. And I'm going to be doing a wig video today too, which is by my first wigs okay and look at that that looks kind of decent okay look and like i was saying i did try to since i got six items and i to put them all together it's kind of like an outfit so but other than that you guys like life has been good to me um when i say life has been good to me meaning you know no issues just enjoying my life now these are two different colors i'm gonna just use this one right here enjoying my life trying to you know just 
piece together, or not even piece together, but just trying to do the best that I can for not only myself, but my family, you know what I'm saying? And just kind of like stay out the way. Um, what What is crazy to me is the fact that I finally, um, finally have slowed down on wig reviews. Yeah, I'm kind of like running out of wig reviews so i've had like a really easy past couple of weeks and also not only that but my friend my friend tina she is on her way over now um i'm not sure if i mentioned her in my other blog but she and i have been friends for not too long but just in a decent amount of time frame we actually met at the dispensary okay we was in line together and we just started talking she's actually a couple years older than me um she's really cool uh she was riding a motorcycle that night um we hit it off really well on the line waiting to get into the dispensary and we just started talking this and it was so crazy because it ends up that we have a lot of things in common with and um she is also a grandmother two grandchildren and she's really cool so we've been hanging out and use my favorite eye uh, mascara this is like a really good mascara which is by l'oreal voluminous carbon black i love this okay i really can't tell you much about what i've been doing lately which has been really much of nothing um but um working a lot on my inner peace okay listen let me tell you something about me it doesn't take a lot for me to be content and satisfied but like i'm saying me and tina we, we we hang out she's really cool um she's a couple years older than me and um we just get along really good it's always cool to have like all you need is one good friend and um she's just a really good friend however i will say sometimes she does use the word old a little bit too much she'd be like um girl how's it feel to be getting old i just be wanting to say sometimes sweetheart talk for yourself speak for yourself honey it's a blessing to get old because some people don't even get the opportunity to get old okay i'm guaranteeing you that this is too light of a shade for me now Ooh, child I'm not gonna say Lauder. This is not even the brush that I wanted to use. Look at this. Isn't this so pretty? Okay, look at this. This is gorgeous, right? I got this from a wig company. What the hell? You know, it's crazy how I'll run out of some. This was some good stuff. Just to respond. <laughs> I also got this from the 6 for 60 thing from the cosmetic company stores. This is by Two Faces, the Teddy Bear Bronzer, Bear It All Bronzer. <sighs> they didn't really have a lot. For my blush, it's got to be like this peachy coral kind of like color most of my blushes are by mac so this is the only one that i have by Too faced and this is the love hangover blush it's cute it was like a freebie but yeah you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this you know i'm definitely going to link all of the products that i've used in this video but also what did you guys think of the um workout attire by yvette link it all below for you guys yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i wanted to get ready with you guys and now i'm ready and i'm gonna go ahead and do my wig video and i will see y'all on the next one <laughs>